Reverend Insanity Chapter 526 Asura Aoyang Losses to Both Sides Bayan Seek Xuan moved to the front of the troop and without saying much, quickly started the fight with Aoyang Bai Seng. The battle between the two attracted the close attention of countless people. If considering reputation, Shadow Sword Expert could throw Aoyang Bai Seng several streets away. But if considering cultivation and strength, Aoyang Bai Seng was a rank 4 peak stage Gu Master who was able to cross a great realm and kill a rank 5 expert, while Shadow Sword Expert was only at rank 4 upper stage. Shadow Sword Expert's Gu Worms complemented each other very well, and there was no shortcomings. At the same time, she placed high importance on her movement ability. Her figure turned into shadows and continuously circled around Aoyang Bai Sang, attacking with multiple sword shadows from time to time. Aoyang Bai Sang stayed stationary on the spot as he defended, his body unmoving like the rocks on the shores of the sea. The battle went on for a while, when this sworn brother of Liu Wen Wu slowly felt impatient, if you are only of this standard, then go die. He gave a low shout as great changes appeared over his whole body. His teeth quickly grew longer and sharper like swords and his two pairs of canine teeth protruded out of his mouth like fangs. Green hair started growing out of his bald head. Not only on his head, the green hair grew all over his body. His body made creaking noises and his blood flow instantly slowed down greatly. The originally tall and skinny body became even more thin, but the aura of danger coming from him grew thicker by ten times. His eyes were no longer human eyes, but had transformed into a pair of eerie and cold green eyes, giving off a glossy jade light. Rank 5, Asura Zombie Gu. This Gu was classified under the most classic zombie series of transformation path. The series of zombie Gu were spread widely throughout the five regions. From rank 2 roaming zombie goo to rank 3 hairy zombie goo to rank 4 hopping zombie goo till the rank 5 flying zombie goo. There were 5 great flying zombie goo in the world Asura zombie, heavenly demon zombie, blood white nightmare zombie and plague zombie. Many goo masters who did not have much lifespan left and had no lifespan goo to increase their life would often choose to turn into zombies to prolong their life, transforming into a monster that was neither human nor ghost. Fang Yuan had already seen blood white goo before. At King Mao Mountain, Gu Yu first generation ancestor had turned into blood white to change his fate in defiance of heaven but his plan was thwarted by divine investigator Tai Zhu Lang and others. This Asura zombie goo that Aoyang Bai Sang was using was a formidable goo that was equally famous as blood white goo. Clank clank clank. Bayan Seek Xuan's sword shadows cut at Aoyang Bai Sang's body, but they actually produced sparks on contact, unable to injure his skin by even a fraction, only cutting several green hair. Overlapping Shadow Goo Bayan Seek Xuan's eyes flashed with a sharp light, multiple sword shadows overlaid on top of one another to transform into an abysmally dark and extremely condensed sword. Now this is something, green light blossomed in Aoyang Bai Sang's pupils as he looked at this sword shadow attack. He was not afraid, but instead was happy. He stretched his right hand in a form of a claw and grabbed at the sword shadow like he was grabbing a rabbit. This... Bayan Seek Xuan revealed shock, the sword shadow in her hand could not go an inch further. Gagaga, Aoyang Bai Sang laughed in a haggard and unpleasant tone as he clenched his claw-shaped right palm. Puff! A soft sound echoed. He actually forcibly burst apart the sword shadow. Bayan Seek Xuan quickly retreated, the shattered sword shadow burst into many sharp pieces that ruthlessly struck at Aoyang Bai Sang inflicting several deep wounds on his body and slashed apart the four fingers on his right hand and almost cut apart the whole right fist. Bayan Seek Xuan had bitterly accumulated battle merits from several small battles before and exchanged them for overlapping shadow goo from High Tribe Supply Camp. Under its effect, the multiple sword shadows offense could merge and could match the offensive prowess of a rank 5 attack goo. Aoyang Bai Sang was slashed at by the sword shadow, but he did not feel any pain. 
he had transformed into a zombie which caused the feeling of pain to almost disappear. At the same time, large amounts of eerie green blood flowed out of the wounds. The wounds were so deep that one could see the bone, but they healed within just few seconds of time. New hair grew on top of it and covered it. His broken fingers also grew again, and it looked like it did not take any effort. Bian Sik Xuan's complexion turned pale white at this sight. Aoyang Bai Sang looked hot-headed when he forcibly grabbed the sword shadow, but it was actually a psychological tactic. After he transformed into a Sira zombie, his defense and recovery ability were raised by several folds. Bian Sik Xuan's strongest attack could not affect him in any way. This unavoidably weakened Bian Sik Xuan's will to battle severely. Gu Master's battle strength did not only rely on the amount of primeval essence in their aperture, it also depended on their determination and mental state. I am an assassin, an expert at movement and infiltrating secretly. These challenges between the two army are done out in the open and facing someone head-on is not my usual style. Aoyang Bai Sang's performance greatly weakened the battle intent in Bai and Sik Xuan's heart. In the next several rounds, she kept on attacking while moving around Aoyang Bai Sang, but it was clear her attacking frequency had decreased by a lot compared to before, and she was dodging most of the time. After exchanging ten more moves, Bian Sik Xuan shouted and quickly pulled open a distance from Aoyang Bai Sang, retreating towards High Tribe Camp. At this sight, Liu Tribe Army's morale rose again, while High Tribe's morale shook and the higher-ups did not have good expressions. Bian Sik Xuan lost. Is Aoyang Bai Sang really so strong? His killer move is a Sura transformation, having killed a rank 5 expert with this killer move. Now he has only used a Sura zombie goo, not even using his full strength, but was still able to defeat Shadow Sword Expert. Shadow Sword Expert did not have a strong will to fight, but by continuously attacking while moving around, she has exhausted a considerable amount of Aoyang Bai Sang's primeval essence. We can send another person to fight with him. The discussion settled and High Tribe Army sent Pan Ping to battle. But within only a short period of time, Pan Ping seemed unable to stall further and panickedly unsheathed the scimitar on his waist and used Soul Blade Goo. A cold light flashed, but it was in vain. Soul Blade Goo could ignore defense, but it did not work always and had a certain probability. Moreover, once this rank 4 Soul Blade Goo was activated, it needed 8 hours of rest before it could be used again. Aoyang Bai Sang got quite a shock. Despite having read relevant intel, Soul Blade Goo's speed was way faster than what he imagined, making him unable to react in time. I can't leave him alive. Aoyang Bai Sang's killing intent surged as he pounced towards Pan Ping. Pan Ping already knew the situation was bad the moment he saw his attack did not succeed, so he hurriedly retreated. Aoyang Bai Sang pursued him closely. High Tribe quickly sent three rank four experts to block Aoyang Bai Sang and rescue Pan Ping. The three rank four experts surrounded Aoyang Bai Sang and attacked fiercely. Aoyang Bai Sang was about to use his killer move Asura transformation, when Mo Shi Quang, who was unable to endure any more, charged out of the main tent and shouted, Second brother, I will lend you a hand. Aoyang Bai Sang alone put High Tribe Army under great pressure, now adding Mo Shi Quang on top of that, and the situation turned way worse. Third brother, no need to interfere, what is the use even if there are more people? Look at my Asura transformation. Aoyang Bai Sang furiously roared under the three rank four experts' violent attacks and used his killer move. His aura suddenly increased sharply, his body grew bigger, becoming a giant of over ten feet. The muscles in his whole body inflated like a balloon and quickly transforming into absurd rock-like bulging muscles, and under his pair of arms, two new pairs of arms grew out. His body was completely dark green. His feet ripped apart the leather boots and stepped on the grassland, creating a deep crater. The protruding fangs turned dark brown, and a third vertical eye opened from the center of his forehead. Powell, Aoyang Bai Sang roared, the berserk sound shaking the whole battlefield. 
the three high tribes Gu masters felt their momentum slowed down. Aoyang Bai Sang waved his fist like swatting a fly, sending one flying far away. The other two attacked violently, golden blades striking rapidly like thunder, but Aoyang Bai Sang took it forcibly, his enormous body not even budging. Die! He attacked with all six hands punching, swatting, grabbing, holding with extremely fierce power, and all his hands moved smoothly, not hindering each other in the slightest. The two rank four could not take it head on and started retreating. Aoyang Bai Sang was not satisfied, his every punch produced a sonic boom with power that caused people to pale. One rank four Gu Master lasted only a short while under this crazed offense and was smashed into blood paste, while another Gu Master was grabbed by Aoyang Bai Sang. Don't kill me, don't kill. His pleadings came to an end abruptly. Blood started flowing rapidly out of his seven facial orifices. His ribs were crushed and his body started deflating. Aoyang Bai Sang had crushed him to death with two hands. So violent, cunning gentleman's son, Shi Han involuntarily cried out. Hai Lu Lan's express turned extremely unsightly, and Tai Bai Yun Sheng also had a solemn expression. Liu tribe's army started cheering loudly, while Hai tribe's Gu masters were in disorder, their morale falling down to the abyss. Liu Wen Wu laughed at this sight before waving his hand, commence the battle, all troops charge, Immediately, Liu tribe army rushed forward like a flood with the gates opened, bringing a momentum that wanted to drown the world. Mo Shi Quang, Pei Yan Fei and others were leading. Hai Lu Lan gnashed his teeth and also sent the command for the army to prepare to receive the attack. The large battle unfolded with all kinds of shouts and cries resounding through the battlefield. During the intense battle, Liu tribe's several great experts rampaged everywhere, causing Hai Lu Lan and the higher-ups to fall into disadvantage at the very start. But at the low level, Hai tribe was actually winning. Under Fang Yuan's control, the wolf group started wildly slaughtering Liu tribe's Gu masters, while Liu tribe army's Gu masters had no choice but to waste their precious primeval essence against the encroaching wolves. Thus, even if the wolves died, they died after contributing greatly. Liu tribe's Gu master's experts sensed this unfavorably situation and started searching for Fang Yuan. However, Fang Yuan used the same old trick, hiding in some corner of the battlefield. He now already had three rank four lurking soul coat Gu, and with the concealment from these Gu, as long as he did not use over 80% of his strength, his soul fluctuations would be concealed. This large battle continued from the early morning to evening. The setting sun shone like blood as it shone down on the grassland that was covered with corpses and blood. There was no winner in this battle. Liu tribe suffered disastrous losses in their military forces because of the wolf group. After the Liu tribe's Gu master experts were not able to find Fang Yuan's location, they all concentrated in attacking Hai tribe's Gu master experts. Pai tribe's Gu master experts thus suffered serious damage. Mo Shi Kuang and Aoyang Bai Sang were difficult to restrain, and almost all the Hai tribe Gu masters were too terrified to confront them. Hai tribe's battle intent was dissipating and was barely able to hold on. When the night fell, the night wolves became fierce and Liu Wen Wu, not wanting the lower-ranked Gu master casualties to increase, also had the thought of retreating. The first battle ended up in a draw with their killing intent gradually calming down as the night progressed. Both sides retreated behind their defense lines to rest and prepare. Chapter 527 Wolf King Striving for Victory High Tribe's Main Tent The atmosphere here was stifling. Almost everyone including Hai Lu Lan was injured. The lofty and grand Gu Master experts looked very miserable at this moment. Liu tribe's offense was too fierce. Liu Wen Wu, Liu Bo Jun, and Nai Ye King are rank 5 experts. Mo Shi Kuang and Aoyang Bai Sang are rank 4 peak stage experts with battle strength of rank 5. Furthermore, there are other strong experts like Pei Yan Fei and Chang Bio. Such quality of experts were rarely seen in the past 10 struggles for imperial court. Cunning gentleman's son, Shihan sighed. 
rank four Gu masters were already rare. Each was the head of small or mid-sized forces or elders of large-sized forces. And with the high demand of aptitude, rank five was even rarer. Even a super force would only have two, three rank five Gu masters openly. Actually, when comparing, High Tribe was stronger in higher ranked forces. Hai Lu Lan, Tai Bai Yun Sheng, and Gu Guo Long were rank 5 experts. And there were over 20 rank 4 experts, including Chang Shan Yin, Tang Mao Ming, Hao Jai Liu, Bian Sik Xuan, and Pan Peng. However, even between same ranked Gu masters, there was a difference in their battle strength. Gu masters were a force that surpassed group battles, their individual strength could surpass the accumulation of a group. For example, just Fang Yun alone could slaughter small or mid-sized tribes. In today's battle, Aoyang Bai Sang alone had slaughtered 5 rank 4 Gu masters and 12 rank 3 elders. It was not that Hai tribe was weak, but that Liu tribe's higher ranked battle strength was too strong. Especially in this battle, Liu tribe had slaughtered many of Hai tribe's higher ranked Gu masters, cutting down rank 4 Gu masters to almost half, causing the gap to further increase. The way to deal with the enormous dominance of Liu tribe was a problem Hai tribe had to quickly come up with a solution for. If I had some time, I could annex several large armies and with old sir's prestige, subdue some experts, maybe we could contend against Liu tribe's higher ranked strength then. Hai Lu Lan sighed, hating Liu Wen Wu for choosing this time to attack, not giving him any space to develop. Tai Bai Yun Sheng immediately realized the deep intent behind Hai Lu Lan's words. I once rescued Gao Yang and Zhu Zai and they had said they would repay the favor. I can write them a letter, and maybe they will come over. Everyone's spirits rose. Gao Yang and Zhu Zai were called the twin demons of demonic path in northern plains. They always worked together, having great teamwork with each other. These two were both rank 4 peak stage experts and had once killed a rank 5 expert by combining their strength. The pressure on Hai Lu Lan eased. If I can get Gao Yang and Zhu Zai's help, it can slightly make up for the gap between the two armies. But the events of the battle concerns everyone's life, and we cannot hope for others' mood in repaying the favor. In today's battle, it was thanks to Wolf King that we were able to exterminate large numbers of low-ranked enemy Gu masters, causing an enormous loss to Liu tribe. If it were not for Liu when Wu feeling hesitation, how could he have retreated so easily? Everyone's gaze landed on Fang Yuan, wanting to hear his thoughts. Fang Yuan had a tranquil expression, not having a trace of injury on his body. He had been hiding while commanding the wolf group in the battle, but he was the one who gained the most battle merits. Most of the ones in the main tent were inwardly infuriated at this, having envious and jealous feelings. But due to the situation, they did not dare to flare up. After the battle, Fang Yuan had been looking through his memories, trying to excavate the information on how Hai Lu Lan had prevailed over Liu Wenwu, but even after a long time of racking up his brain, he did not get any results. There was way too much information in the memories of his 500 years of past life, and much was forgotten. And from the look of it, this enormous problem that was troubling everyone was no more than just a minor detail in the long river of history in his past life. Feeling everyone's gaze, Fang Yuan raised his eyelids and lightly said, Liu tribe has enslavement path Gu masters, but their strongest expert is only Bei Kao Chuan whose grass soldier troops is of no importance. Now, both the enemy and us have our strengths. We are like two giants stabbing each other with spears. Liu tribe is strong in terms of higher-ranked Gu masters, while I can slaughter many of their low-ranked Gu masters with my wolf group. Thus, it resulted in the draw today. The way to victory is restraining the enemy's advantage as well as strengthening our advantage. And restraining the enemy's Gu master experts is not an impossible thing. As long as I can have a group of strong wolves as trump cards, I can restrain them. But with this, I will have to use all my strength and the rank 4 lurking soul coat goo on me will no longer be able to conceal my soul fluctuations, and thus I will become the enemy's target. Fang Yuan's words caused everyone's eyes to brighten. 
Trump card wolf group Hai Lu Lan lowered his head and mumbled. The current five great enslavement masters of Northern Plains were called the Five Beast Kings. Among them, Horse King Ma Zun has mutated Pegasus Group. Eagle King Yang Po Ying has mutated Thunder Eagle Group. Rat King Zhang Bao Ya has mutated Mountain Drilling Rat Group. And the newly advanced enslavement master Leopard King Nu Er Two controlled Glimpse Leopard Group. Only Wolf King Chang Shan Yin did not have a mutated beast group. Every mature mutated beast possessed the battle strength of rank 4 Gu Masters. Once a group of mutated beasts formed, they would be more terrifying than the same amount of Gu Masters. After all, beast group would charge dauntlessly under the enslavement path Gu Masters control. As Gu Masters had all kinds of self-benefits to think about, even if they were under poison vow, they could not be made to fight to the death. If they had a group of mutated beasts, there was a huge chance of killing rank 5 experts. After all, even rank 5 Gu Masters were mortals in the end, with limited primeval essence, and there were times when their strength was exhausted. However, making a mutated beast group was too time-consuming of a process and would exhaust enormous energy and resources. To look for a group of mutated wolf group for Fang Yuan in this short period of time, there was only one way requesting help from High Tribe's Gu Immortals. The people in the main tent, even if they did not know the existence of Treasure Yellow Heaven, they were aware of the huge power of Gu Immortals. In the history of Northern Plains, there were several examples where Gu Immortals organized mutated beast group to provide assistance to their respective force. Mutated Beast Group is indeed a way out, I will give it a try first. Hai Lu Lan pondered for a while before saying vaguely. But everyone clearly knew the meaning behind Hai Lu Lan's words was to request help from the Gu Immortal behind him. This immediately caused a new change in the gaze everyone looked at Fang Yun. How could this Wolf King Chang Shan Yin have such good luck? Making a Gu Immortal help him to organize a mutated wolf group. If he had to do this himself, he might not even be able to accomplish it in 20 to 30 years. Why don't we get such benefits? Everyone felt envious and jealous. Ultimately, it was the identity of Chang Shan Yin that Fang Yuan carried. An enslavement master was an existence that could turn tides around. Hai Tribe was fighting Liu Tribe. It was indeed wise to put heavy importance on Fang Yuan and give more resources to him. If I remember right, even if there is a mutated beast group, Lord Wolf King's Battle Merits is ranked number one from the bottom, the last place in the Battle Merits list, right? Cunning Gentleman was filled with jealousy, kindly reminding as if he had suddenly recalled it. Of course, I can't receive a mutated wolf group for nothing. Fang Yuan righteously nodded. Our rules cannot be broken. I will use Battle Merits to exchange for it. Of course, my battle merits are insufficient right now, so I can only borrow a bit more. This is something that cannot be helped. Everyone was speechless. Many people shouted inwardly at the same time. Do you feel no shame speaking such words? Do you still want your face? You already borrowed 1,300,000 battle merits before, and you still want to borrow more. In the entire High Tribe Army, only you have borrowed battle merits, don't you feel guilt holding that rank 5 amplify effect goo? In fact, Fang Yuan not only did not feel any guilt, instead he said with a not satisfied voice, just a mutated beast group won't do, I still require rank 5 lurking soul coat goo. Unfortunately, refining a rank 5 goo has a success rate that is too low. I have collected 3 rank 4 goo, but I don't dare to fuse them to rank 5. Hai Lu Lan gnashed his teeth, the number of times he could request help from the tribe was limited, the more he asked for help, the less the tribe's evaluation of him would be. But there was no other way, he could only nod at Fang Yuan in order to defeat Liu Wen Wu. I will do something about it. Just as Hai Lu Lan and his group were strategizing, Liu Wen Wu and his group were also planning on how to battle Hai Tribe. In High Tribe Army, Wolf King Chang Shan Yin is the biggest problem. It was because of him that my army suffered disastrous losses in today's battle, with at least 30,000 Gu Masters dying in the wolves' mouths. 
Sigh, this number is truly making my heart bleed, everyone came forward to side with me because they believed in me. But it is because of my incompetence we had to suffer such heavy casualties. In the main tent, Liu Wenwu shed tears and sighed. Big brother, how is it your fault? We can only blame those goo masters for being useless. Mo Shiquang almost jumped up as he hurriedly retorted. Wolf King Chang Shan Yin might have huge reputation, but he is not a true hero. Aoyang Bai Sang, however, loftily snorted, his tone contained disdain. The Grand Wolf King was actually sneakily hiding in some corner like a rat. It really makes people look down upon him. But such a Wolf King is the most troublesome. Liu Wen Wu sighed inwardly while opening his weeping eyes and asked the group, do any of you have a good method to deal with Wolf King? Mo Shiquang and Aoyang Bai Sang stopped speaking. They were experts at fighting, things like strategizing were not their strong points. I have a plan. Bei Kao Chuan stood up and said confidently, Wolf King Chang Shan Yin was originally Chang tribe's tribesman. Although he spoke of taking revenge, the blood ties he has with Chang tribe is unmistakable and cannot be severed. The current Chang tribe leader Lord Chang Bao was once Chang Shan Yin's best friend. After Chang Shan Yin disappeared, Chang Bao married his wife and raised his three-year-old son who is currently Chang tribe's young tribe leader Chang Jiayu. We might as well try to use this to deal with Wolf King, who knows if it might be effective. Hmm, this idea is not bad, Liu Wenwu's eyes gleamed. After the discussion ended, Fang Yuan returned to his large lizard house goo. The problem of refining rank 5 lurking soul coat goo had been hurting his head recently. If he could borrow High Tribe's goo immortal's power to organize a mutated beast group and also refine rank 5 lurking soul coat goo, it would be the best. Fang Yuan felt there was a huge chance for this to succeed. Although he could not remember all the minor details of this time's struggle for Imperial Court, but he knew clearly Hai Lulan was able to enter Imperial Court and the support of the Gu Immortal behind Hai Lulan was inseparable from this. The two sides will at least rest and reorganize for three days. In this time, Hai Tribe's Gu Immortals will have received Hai Lulan's letter for assistance. Before this, I need to prepare. Thinking of his great plan, the corners of Fang Yuan's lips involuntarily curled up into a smile. Chapter 528 True Martial Secret Awaiting Assistance Xiao Hun Blessed Land This place was always covered in dense dark clouds and female-shaped trees grew on the ground. These trees were very peculiar. The tree trunk was curved and branches wrapped around each other like a girl's naked body. The trees were in all kinds of enchanting postures. Female-shaped trees grew all over the place, becoming a forest. In the deepest part of the forest was the tallest female-shaped tree, with a height of 1,000 feet and roots that extended for a range of 10,000 lai. This female-shaped tree king, however, did not look seductive, instead giving off pure and holy aura. The tree king's trunk was ramrod straight, giving a highly spirited feeling. Its two enormous branches formed into hands that covered the chest. The side branches from them formed into two well-developed and large palms that lifted a green treehouse. Red vermilion fruits grew all over the treehouse with reddish-brown rattan twining around them, making the fruits look like hearts. Two goo immortals were sitting inside this treehouse, both in black clothes. On the left was an ordinary-looking man who was called High Tribe Stoneman during his young age. He was awkward at conversing but was smart and careful inside. He was high by. On the right side, however, was a handsome man who was radiating with vigor, having eyes that seemed to shine, and appeared confident and at ease. He was High Tribe's supreme elder Hai Cheng, Hai Lulan's father and a famous handsome man, as well as the male lead in Su Zion's night elopement. Say, you just returned from Nai Yu Blessed Land, did you see Dong Fang Chang Fan? How is he? Hai Cheng asked leisurely while taking a sip of tea. Hai Bai nodded. Senior Dong Fang isn't looking for lifespan goo, there is not much of his lifespan left, he can probably only live for two three years more. 
But his vision is broad and has magnanimous conduct, already seeing through the trouble of life and death, and only wants to wholeheartedly nurture his successor Dong Fang Yu Liang now. Magnanimous conduct, broad vision? Hai Cheng scoffed, shaking his head in disdain. Brother, you saw wrong. Dong Fang Chang Fan is a genuine petty person. He schemed against the Northern Plains and is extremely insidious and so is hated by all the Gu immortals. If it was not so, he could have already bought Lifespan Gu, why would he have fallen into this state? I have been secretly investigating over these years and have discovered he had a hand in my wife Su Zion Er's death. Hai Cheng revealed this secret information, causing Hai Bai to be extremely startled. What? There was such a thing? Hai Bai exclaimed in shock. Su Zion Er was Hai Cheng's wife. Over two hundred years back, Su Zion Er was no more than a daughter of a concubine in Su tribe, and while she poured wine for Lord Hai Cheng back then in the banquet, Hai Cheng immediately fell in love at first sight. In that banquet, Hai Cheng was poisoned by Su tribe leader, his strength fell to the bottom, and he was hunted down. After Su Zion Er accidentally learned of it, she resolutely rushed out of the tribe in the dead of night to rescue Hai Cheng whom she had only met once. At that time, Su Zion Er only had rank one cultivation and ferocious beasts roamed the night grassland that were beyond her ability to contend. But under the play of fate, she was able to find the unconscious Hai Cheng. Hai Cheng was thus saved and managed to live. He had then asked Su Zion Er with suspicion. I was plotted against by your tribe leader, and you are a Su tribesman, why would you save an enemy of your tribe? Su Zion Er had answered, Lord has a noble spirit, this humble girl fell in love at first sight. Su tribe leader is short-sighted and plotted against Lord under the persuasion of some petty people, but he never considered the result of offending high tribe. If he was allowed to have his way, Su tribe is destined to become a sacrificial pawn between two super tribes. People say Lord repays a favor received by a hundred times. This humble girl saved Lord today and only hopes Lord can give me a place to stay. It is just and proper for Lord to take revenge against Su tribe, but I hope Lord can be merciful and leave behind a trace of bloodline for Su tribe. The moonlight shone on the jade-like beauty with slender and fair hands. Hai Cheng was overwhelmed at this sight. He tightly held Su Zion Er's hand and swore. Your love is as deep as the sea. I, Hai Cheng, am not a cruel person. How could I not repay you? From today onwards, you will be my only wife. I will not care for any other beauties, no matter how beautiful they are. In this life, I will never betray you. Su Zion Er saving Hai Cheng was akin to betraying the tribe. Hai Cheng was very grateful and interlinked with her as husband and wife. From that day onwards, the two helped each other, loving and respecting each other their whole life. Hundred years later, both became Gu immortals, becoming a story that spread far and wide in northern plains. And Su Zion's night elopement was also spread wide, encouraging countless women to bravely take the initiative to love. Hai Bai's mood became solemn. Could it be over twenty years ago sister-in-law did not die because of the blessed land's earthly calamity? Hai Cheng scoffed. There was indeed an earthly calamity, but the earthly calamity was influenced by people. Don't forget brother, old ancestor giant son immortal venerable has such methods. Dong Fang tribe has entered imperial court many times as a tribe with Huang Jin bloodline, they might have received an inheritance relevant to such methods from 88 True Yang building. Sai, I only have a little evidence, it is not enough to prove Dong Fang Chang Fan as the main culprit. Hai Bai remained dazed for quite a while before sighing, you really can't judge people by appearance. Hai Chang patted his shoulder and comforted in a gentle voice. Brother, you have become a Gu Immortal for less than ten years. Gu Immortal's circle might not be big, but the treacherous conspiracies inside it are much deeper than between mortals. Hai Bai was just about to speak when his expression blanked, Hai Lu Lan has sent a letter. Hai Cheng nodded and with a shift of his mind loosened the defense over Xiao Han blessed land by a little. The space opened up and in flew a butterfly. 
High Bai stretched his right hand. This butterfly fluttered and gently landed on his palm. This was rank 5 butterfly letter Gu. High Bai closed his eyes and concentrated on the butterfly letter Gu from Hai Lu Lan, containing his request. What is it? Did that disappointing child of mine ask you for help again? When Hai Bai opened his eyes, Hai Cheng snorted and asked with a displeased tone. Hai Bai forced a smile. Brother, Hai Lu Lan is you and sister-in-law Su Zian Er's son. Although sister-in-law suffered and fell seriously ill when giving birth to Hai Lu Lan, leading to her strength being greatly diminished and thus passing away in the earthly calamity several years later, the child is still innocent. You should not disregard him because of it. You even gave him to the 27th concubine fairy Zhang Yu to adopt and did not allow him to light an incense to pay respects to his own mother. Hai Ching snorted with dissatisfaction but did not argue. Hai Bai sighed. This is your family affair and it is truly not my place to meddle. But I have given a lot of thoughts to Big Brother's actions. You sent Hai Lu Lan to be adopted by the childless fairy Zhang Yu in order to preserve Hai Lu Lan's life, though her immortal Gu Dark limit. Hai Lu Lan has the ten extreme physique great strength true martial. To stimulate his spirit, you gave him a condition that as long as he advanced to Gu Immortal, he could light the incense for his mother. Little brother deeply admire your actions, but big brother, your way of doing things will only deepen the misunderstandings between father and son, it is not a good method looking at the long-term drawbacks. Hai Cheng heaved a sigh, not replying Hai Bai, but instead asked, What did that child mention in the request? Hai Bai clapped his palm and smiled, Look big brother, you showed indifference, but you still care about nephew's safety in your heart. Nephew hopes we can prepare a mutated wolf group and also a rank 5 lurking soul coat goo. HMPH, this kid is truly insolent. Lurking soul coat goo is okay, but our high tribe does not have mutated wolf group. Right now, our high tribe is battling Liu tribe. Liu tribe's current generation tribe leader Liu, when Wu is not someone who can be underestimated. Back then, the inheritance of Harmony Immortal fell in his hand. He has two sworn brothers, both are fierce warriors and can match 10,000 soldiers. However, nephew Lu Lan also has a great general under him Wolf King Chang Shan Yin. This time's request is because he has placed his hopes on Chang Shan Yin. Hai Bai explained. Hai Cheng mumbled. Rank 5 lurking soul code Gu is no issue, I have one with me. But mutated wolf group would have to be purchased from Treasure Yellow Heaven. I will have to request brother for this. Hai Bai quickly shook his hand. Brother, you don't have to be so polite. I still need to rely on nephew to enter imperial court and find immortal Gu wooden chicken in 88 True Yang building. Hai Cheng heaved a long sigh and said with an exhausted voice, Great strength true martial physique needs a strength path immortal Gu to advance to Gu immortal realm. Unfortunately, Immortal Gu are very difficult to find, our high tribe also does not have any strength path Immortal Gu. Success and failure is decided by heaven, we can only try our best. We have already done all we can, now everything will depend on Hai Lu Lan's efforts and luck. Parents are truly constantly worrying about their children. Hai Bai sighed inwardly and said his farewell to Hai Cheng. After he returned to his Kumu blessed land, he immediately connected to Treasure Yellow Heaven and started buying mutated wolves. Wolf emperors could be considered as a strength of blessed land, it was very hard to find Gu immortals selling them. But mutated wolves were only equivalent to rank 4 and were much easier to find. Hai Bai was not worried, mutated beasts were not rare and precious goods, and as long as one had sufficient immortal essence stones, they could buy a large group of them. Of course, spending a lot to buy the mutated wolf group was a loss to Hai Bai. But he was planning for an immortal Gu in 88 True Yang building, and it was right for him to invest in the early stages. Imperial Court Blessed Land was the work of Giant Sun Immortal Venerable. And unless one reached rank 9, no Gu Immortals could enter inside. 
After the news of buying mutated wolf group in high price was spread, Hai Bai soon received a divine sense from someone called Fox Immortal. Fox Immortal had over a hundred mutated wolves and quoted a rather high price for them, they were clearly taking advantage of Hai Bai's difficulty. Hai Bai had already anticipated such a situation, it was only that he had not expected this Fox Immortal to move so quickly at the chance. He gnashed his teeth and bought this group of mutated wolves. The one selling this group of mutated wolves was none other than Little Hu Immortal who had received Fang Yuan's instructions. Previously, they had resold Immortal Gu recipes and earned dozen or so Immortal Essence Stones. Fang Yuan had then instructed Little Hu Immortal to purchase Purple Crystal Relic Gu and also look for any wolf groups sold cheaply at Treasure Yellow Heaven and buy them. Thus, who immortal blessed land had accumulated over a hundred mutated wolves. Among them were Blood Forest Wolf, Berserk Wolf, Shark Fin Wolf, White Eyes Wolf, and others. Now, by reselling these mutated wolves at high price to high buy, they had profited quite a bit. As for Fang Yuan, he was calmly resting in the camp, waiting for High Tribe's assistance. Chapter 529 Diligence Despite Transmigration it was difficult to move through the muddy swamp, but Ma Tribe's army was in high spirits. The happiness of annexing Du Tribe army as well as the excitement of a decisive victory could still be seen on everyone's faces. Ma Ying Jai was riding a horse, and as he looked at the generals and soldiers around him with satisfaction, as an investigative Gu master brought him the latest battle reports. He opened up the documents and read. Hai tribe and Liu tribe has begun to fight. The first battle resulted in a draw and currently both are garrisoned opposite each other. The situation is in a stalemate. Yi Liu army was ambushed at night by the Seven Army Alliance. Yi Liu Sang was very powerful and defeated six rank five experts one after another. But he was only one person and was unable to save the situation. Currently, Yi Liu tribe's remnant army is fleeing towards King and region. Rat King Zhang Bao Ya has accepted Yang tribe's invitation and has officially entered Yang tribe's alliance. New Er Tu army has not resumed their expedition, instead resting and capturing huge numbers of leopard groups. These battle reports caused Ma Ying Jai to smile with joy. Hai Lu Lan and Liu Wen Wu are popular candidates to win this time's imperial court contest. I did not think these two would confront each other this early. It will be good if they both suffer. Since Yi Liu Sang obtained immortal Gu, he is a one-man army. But for Yi Liu tribe to be suddenly attacked by the seven armies, Snowy Mountain most likely has influence behind it. Ma tribe, to advance to a super tribe, had secretly joined hands with demonic path Gu immortals who were coveting after 88 true Yang building. Ma Ying Jai was Ma tribe's young tribe leader and thus was aware of the undertable deals of the tribes. Northern Plains was like a huge chessboard while the Gu immortals were the chess players. Besides Righteous Path Gu masters, demonic path Gu immortals also had their own pawns whom they supported. And as the tribes with Huang Jin bloodline were willing to join hands with demonic path Gu immortals in order to have a better survival chance. If they lost in the struggle for imperial court, these tribes would often enter the blessed lands of the demonic path Gu immortals to escape from the blizzard disaster. Immortal Gu were rare. Yi Liu tribe's supreme elder had entrusted an immortal Gu to Yi Liu Sang. It was equivalent to placing a bet in this game. According to the rules set by Giant Sun Immortal Venerable, as long as Immortal Gu were snatched by mortals in the struggle for Imperial Court, the Gu Immortals cannot take them back. Such a huge bet had its corresponding risk. It was because of the Immortal Gu on Yi Liu Sang that caused him to be the target of Gu Immortals. Thus they incited seven armies to ambush Yi Liu army. Rat King has joined Yang tribe, which means an alliance of Rat King and Eagle King Yang Po Ying, causing this underdog Yang tribe to become a new contender to win the struggle for Imperial Court. But Yang tribe's foundations are far inferior to our Ma tribe and Rat King was also already crippled. They aren't of much threat to us. 
Although New Er 2 is called Leopard King, his Leopard group has been inflicted heavy losses. However, he has been capturing wild leopard groups by himself without asking for help from the Goo Immortal behind him, this is a bit strange. But overall, my Ma Tribe situation is still much better. Our next opponents are weaker than us. As long as we keep on winning, continue to devour other tribes and expand, our hopes of entering Imperial Court will become bigger and bigger. Ma Ying Jai could not help clenching his fists at this, his eyes letting out a fierce light. The ambitions and goals of a man were pushing him to establish great feats and accomplishments. And at the same time, within the high-spirited army was a little girl who was weeping in a carriage. Lady Zio Yun, don't keep on grieving, your father's death was a heart-rending event, but you need to eat, if not you will faint from hunger. Beside the little girl, the anxious Fei Kai was comforting her in a clumsy way. This weeping little girl was none other than Zhao Lianyun. Her father, Zhao tribe's leader, had sacrificed his life in the previous large battle. Losing the protection of the father who loved her dearly, Zhao Lianyun immediately felt her world toppling. On the very night of her father's death, her stepmother remarried the new Zhao tribe leader, and Zhao Lianyun's position took a sharp dive. There will always be deaths in war, this is normal. My father was also killed by others. Fei Kai continued to persuade Zhao Lian Yun when he saw she was still crying. Zhao Lian Yun suddenly raised her head while sobbing, looking at Fei Kai with an insoluble hatred in her tear-filled eyes and kicked him. You idiot, you don't even know how to comfort people. The sorrow in her heart was not fake. Although she inexplicably arrived in this world, and it had not been long since her arrival, her father's love towards her was filled with sincerity. She was very grateful for this genuine love, and her dependence on him had slowly grown into true affection. But now, her father had died in the battlefield, making her alone and helpless. Missy, you were hiding here, you really caused much trouble for me. Quick, follow me, your mother is calling you. At this time, the curtain of the carriage was lifted open by the old caretaker who then grabbed Zhao Lian Yun's small arm. Zhao Lian Yun struggled and shouted, My mother is dead, she is not my mother, I won't go. This is not up to you. The old caretaker scoffed and tried to forcibly drag Zhao Lian Yun out of the carriage. When she had been serving Zhao Lian Yun, she was teased and pranked by Zhao Lian Yun time and again. Now, as she looked at Zhao Lian Yun's miserable state, the old caretaker felt the pleasure of taking revenge. Let go of Lady Zio Yun, Fei Kai shouted and punched the old caretaker. The old caretaker fell out of the carriage from this heavy punch. She stood up and touched her eye that had become purple from the bruise. She screamed in a shrill voice, You hit me, a slave dared to hit a civilian, who gave you such big guts, I will report you, you are going to die. You will be skinned alive and your corpse will be hung up in the sunlight till it dries up. The old caretaker was extremely furious, and with her unkempt hair and sinister gaze, she looked like a hopping old hen. However, her scream had indeed attracted the surrounding people. Fei Kai clenched his fists and furiously stared at the old caretaker while firmly protecting Zhao Lian Yun behind him. Zhao Lian Yun pushed aside Fei Kai's arm and stood on the carriage, her fair face still had tear stains, she looked at the old caretaker and scoffed. What was it? You want to punish Fei Kai? All right, report him, but according to the rules, you need to first inform his master to demand compensation. Since it is so, go look for young tribe leader. Fei Kai is Lord Ma Ying Jai's slave leader. What? The old caretaker cried out in shock, her screams abruptly stopped and the anger in her heart dissipated like a tide, only leaving behind an extreme terror. This rash stupid kid was actually Lord Ma Ying Jai personal slave, moreover he was Lord Ma Ying Jai's slave leader who was in charge of his everyday life. One needed to look at the owner before beating the dog. The old caretaker might be a civilian with a status higher than that of a slave, but it was a different matter when Fei Kai was Ma Ying Jai's slave leader. If she truly reported recklessly, she might instead be sacrificed by Zhao tribe. After the shock, 
The old caretaker who had lost her face greatly looked gloomy. She rigidly stared at Zhao Lian Yun. Little girl, even young tribe leader Ma Ying Jai's slave leader cannot protect you. You are a person of Zhao tribe, even after your death, you will be our Zhao tribe's ghost. Your mother is our Zhao tribe's current tribe lady. Listen to me properly, tribe lady has already arranged your marriage to Y tribe's eldest young master. Now behave properly. What? Zhao Lian Yun involuntarily cried out. Marrying to Y tribe's eldest young master is your blessing. The old caretaker sinisterly smiled. Zhao Lian Yun's whole body shook and fell down on the wooden board of the carriage. Lady Zio Yun, Fei Kai quickly supported her. The old caretaker felt incomparable pleasure at this sight and left with immense satisfaction. She still needed report to Zhao tribe's tribe lady. Zhao Lian Yun was expressionlessly, this immense shock left her in a dazed state filled with despair, allowing Fei Kai to hold her in the carriage. For three days, she curled up at a corner of the carriage, without moving or speaking. Fei Kai's persuasion was of no use and could only helplessly feed her. Zhao Lian Yun was like a wooden puppet, letting Fei Kai control her. Fei Kai also could not accompany her all the time, and every time Ma Ying Jai summoned him, he would immediately leave. This sudden change of events and this ice-cold reality shattered the foolish pride Zhao Lian Yun had as a transmigrator. She suddenly had a profound realization. A transmigrator is nothing special. Why did I think I could whip up a storm in this world after being so ordinary in my previous world? Moreover, women were discriminated in Northern Plains and were treated as goods to be used for political marriage. Northern Plains women could only adhere to men and could not refuse a man's forceful marriage. This was a rule set by Giant Sun Immortal Venerable. Previously, when she heard of Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's deeds, she felt like she was listening to a story, listening to a legend of a hero. But now, she was personally experiencing the torment caused by Giant Sun Immortal Venerable. Women are like clothes while brothers are like our hands and feet. This was the favorite catchphrase of Giant Sun Immortal Venerable. He pulled apart the status of man and woman to an extremely unfair level. Now he had become the most detestable person in Zhao Lian Yun's heart. No wonder Su Zion's night elopement story pierced so deep into people's hearts, causing Northern Plains women to eagerly imitate it. Rather than passively suffering fate's arrangement, it is better to take the initiative to chase after one's happiness. But this carries unknown risks. As she thought of this, Zhao Lian Yun's awareness of the vile living environment deepened by another layer. Why tribe's eldest young master is a famous trash. He is fat like a pig with pockmarks all over his face and only at rank one peak stage, but is extremely lecherous and very fickle-hearted. It is because of his incompetence, Y tribe's young tribe leader position went to his younger brother. I won't marry that pig even if I die. But what should I do? I am only a mortal, and since I haven't reached thirteen, I cannot awaken my aperture and cannot cultivate. It is also possible that I don't have any cultivation aptitude. And the person who killed my father is Du Yi, a rank 5 Gu master who has sided with Ma tribe now and is now a higher up of the alliance. Who can I rely on? What path should I take? Bewilderment, hesitation and fear filled Zhao Lian Yun's heart. In the early morning of the fourth day, Fei Kai lifted up the carriage curtain and entered with food and clean water. The light of the dawn followed the curtain opening and shone on Zhao Lian Yun's face. Zhao Lian Yun woke up, slowly opening her swollen eyes. You brought food? She grabbed the food from Fei Kai's hand and began to devour it. Lady Zhao Yun, are you okay? Fei Kai was happy at this change. Yes, I have thought it through, it is better to rely on myself. Although I have been bound by the wedding betrothment, it can only be implemented when I am sixteen. I still have time. Zhao Lian Yun's gaze shone like fire. Ah, Lady Zio Yun, you don't accept the betrothal? Fei Kai was startled. In his impression, Northern Plains could only accept their fate when their marriage was decided. Zhao Lian Yun rolled her eyes and spoke in a righteous tone. 
HMPH, I am not an ordinary person, I absolutely won't compromise. But I cannot go to the tribe now and can only live here for some time and rely on you Fei Kai. No problem. Fei Kai patted his chest, laughing foolishly. Zhao Lian Yun's heart warmed and her tone turned softer. Fei Kai, your father also died in battlefield. Yes, he died. I was heartbroken during that time. But death is normal in northern plains. Father died in battle, he died a glorious death. Fei Kai said with a smile. As expected, winner takes it all. Under the dazzling and splendid throne lies a path of bones. Zhao Lian Yun sighed before cursing. What a scam, I crossed over to this world and have yet to mature, but my fate has already been decided by others, I can't even begin to feel anger. A letter was placed in front of Fang Yuan. This special letter was openly sent by the enemy and was now brought over by cunning gentleman's son Shihan. Fang Yuan opened it and read. This letter was personally written by Chang Bayo, reminiscing the past and how they were on opposite sides now. He was inviting Wolf King to have a discussion before the battle and reminisce about the old times. And at that time, he could let Chang Jai Yu meet his father. Great ploy. Fang Yuan scoffed and placed down the letter. At this time, Sun Shihan smiled. The mutated wolf group and rank 5 lurking soul coat Gu have both arrived. But the higher-ups of the alliance are hesitating because of this letter. They are hoping Lord Wolf King would battle against your kin in the name of righteousness to prove your innocence. Otherwise, I'm afraid this mutated wolf group. Chapter 530 Adjusting His Appearance for Him Liu Tribe Defense Line Inside the Camp Tent Mother, what kind of person was father? Chang Jai Yu had a hesitant expression after a long while, he asked the burning question in his heart. He had never met Chang Shan Yin back then when Chang Shan Yin's mother died from poison and when Chang Shan Yin fought to the death with Ha Tu Gu, Chang Jai Yu was only an unborn child in his mother's womb. His mother Nai Zhu Tong had a frowned expression as she breathed out, using a nostalgic tone. My child, has your heart wavered? Don't forget our current circumstances. Don't worry about your father, he is a legend in Northern Plains, back then he killed Ha Tugu and the bandits single-handedly, he is a hero who exterminated a great threat for the people. Chang Jai Yu interrupted his mother. Mother, I'm sick of hearing that. Since birth, I've been hearing these stories all my life, wherever I go, whatever I do, people will say, oh look, as expected of Chang Shan Yin's son. Father is like the eagle in the sky, flying high and casting his shadow on the ground. In a few days, I will be meeting him, my heart is in a mess, I just want to hear his. Chang Jai Yu was still speaking, when the tent flap was opened, as a domineering middle-aged man with a powerful aura walked in. It was Chang Tribe's current tribe leader, Chang Shan Yin's brother, rank 4 upper stage wind path expert, Chang Bio. Greetings to Lord Stepfather. Chang Jai, you quickly paid respects. My child, go out first, I need to talk with your mother. Chang Bio said gently. Yes. Chang Jai, you had to leave the tent. Once the flap was closed, with the guards outside, there were only Chang Bio and Nai Zhu Tong left in the tent. Husband, Nai Zhu Tong jumped into Chang Bio's embrace, tears flowing out of her weak and feeble eyes. Sigh, I know you have been feeling terrible these days. Chang Bio embraced Nai Zhu Tong as he caressed her hair softly. At the same time, he used his goo worm to isolate the place from the outside. Nai Zhu Tong sobbed. Yu Er has been asking me about Chang Shan Yin again, what should I say? Do you know, just now I had the urge and almost told him the truth, that he is not Chang Shan Yin's flesh and blood, that he is the crystallization of our love. Chang Bio's body shuddered, he was also feeling great conflict and pain in his heart. He solemnly said, This is all my fault for being useless. Back then we were childhood friends, it was Chang Shan Yin who came into the picture abruptly and lusted after your beauty. On the day of our marriage, he snatched you away. I was not his match, I could only find you at night secretly, and that resulted in our son Chang Jai Yu. 
But once he was born, if his bloodline was examined, the truth would be out and we would be doomed. Thus, I and Ha Tu Gu cooperated and plotted against Chang Shan Yin. Next, I used my status as Chang Shan Yin's brother to marry you and make Chang Jai you my godson. These years, although the tribe isn't in good shape, this is the happiest years of our lives. Chang Jai, you was successfully made young tribe leader by me, but precisely so, you cannot expose this secret. Once the secret is exposed, Chang Bio and Nai Zhu Tong would get publicly shamed, they would be called an adulterous couple, and they will never be able to raise their heads again. They even caused harm to an expert of the tribe. For their own selfish motives, they disregarded the tribe's situation. It was truly a heinous crime. As for Chang Jai Yu, he would be the shameful, illegitimate child. Be it his young tribe leader position, or Chang Bio's tribe leader position, they would be at risk of being taken, as people with ambitions would target them. Righteous Path had its own rules. All along, Chang Bio had been taking care of his deceased brother's wife and treated his godson as his own. Such brotherhood was admirable, such gracefulness was praised widely. And exactly because of this, Chang Bio held a small advantage and became Chang tribe's new tribe leader. Once this truth was exposed, he would lose everything. The ambitionists in the tribe would not let him go. In order to recruit Chang Shan Yin, Liu Wen Wu would not give up this chance. By then, his only option would be to escape with Nai Zhu Tong and his own flesh and blood Chang Jai Yu, becoming a demonic goo master. He would be despised by his tribe and chased by his tribe. Why? Why? Why is longevity heaven doing this to us? We love each other so dearly, yet we end up in such a spot. Chang Shan Yin was the real culprit. He is an evil person. Why is he praised? As for us, we can only wear a mask to live, even lying to our own son. Nai Zhu Tong cried profusely, she was very emotional. These days, she had been under a lot of pressure. Ever since Chang Shan Yin reappeared, she had not been sleeping well, her former nightmare reappeared, causing her to fall into deep worry. Do you think that Liu Tribe Alliance leader is trying to recruit Chang Shan Yin? If Chang Shan Yin agrees, would we have to go back to that life? Chang Shan Yin is taking revenge everywhere now, will he find out the fact that we plotted against him? If he returns to the tribe, what will we do? Lying in her lover's embrace, Nai Zhu Tong asked multiple questions as she raised her neck. It won't happen, it won't. Don't think of it as such a severe situation. Chang Bio gently consoled the woman of his life. Firstly, Chang Shan Yin has not found out we were the culprit. Otherwise, with his nature, he would have declared it long ago and caused our reputation to go down the drain. He is only suspicious of Chang tribe having a traitor, but he does not know who. Liu Alliance leader does want to recruit Chang Shan Yin, he is Wolf King after all, an enslavement path master, any alliance would welcome him and get his assistance. But Lord Liu Wenwu is not a normal person, he knows clearly in his heart that there is little hope of getting the Wolf King to come over, his greatest intention is to sow discord and waver the Wolf King's fighting spirit. Think about it, Chang Shan Yin does not know about Chang Jai Yu's true identity, he thinks this is his son. As a father, what would he be thinking? Blood is thicker than water, when Chang Shan Yin thinks about Chang Jai Yu being killed by his wolf group, would he go all out in the upcoming battle? Is that so? Nai Zhu Tong heard this and calmed down. All right, stop worrying, I am here. Chang Bio patted Nai Zhu Tong's back with an affectionate gaze. The tent was filled with the warmth of love. But this kind of atmosphere, how long would it last? Neither Chang Bio nor Nai Zhu Tong had any confidence in this. Whoosh! A person broke the large lizard house Gu's window and crashed in. Cunning gentleman's son Shihan sprawled on the ground, his face was bruised as he shouted loudly with a fearful and vicious expression, Wolf King attacked, Wolf King attacked me. He is revolting, he is murdering us, help, save me. Sun Shihan was a popular person near Hai Lu Lan, his shouts quickly attracted many Gu masters. 
Fang Yuan snorted, jumping out of the window and giving Sun Shihan another kick. Sun Shihan did not dare to activate his Gu Worm, he could only evade. But Fang Yuan changed his attack just in time, sweeping with his right fist and slamming into Sun Shihan's nose. Sun Shihan groaned, just as he got up from the ground, he fell again. His entire face was full of blood, his nose bridge was broken and two of his front teeth fell out, he was in a pathetic state. But the goo masters who came did not do anything, they breathed a sigh of relief secretly. Be it Fang Yuan or Sun Shihan, they did not use their goo worms. This was not breaking the rules, it was merely a small scuffle. When people interacted, there was bound to be conflict. As arguments occur, it was normal to get physical. As long as goo worms were not used to fight, the poison vow would not be violated. Chang Shan Yin, you are too arrogant. Your wife and children are at the enemy's camp, I am only reminding you out of kindness, you actually got furious and beat me, you are definitely guilty. Sun Shihan crawled up, shouting with his shrill voice. The words caused the surrounding goo masters to talk among themselves. Chang Tribe and Chang Shan Yin's relationship was known to all. These days, High Tribe Army had been talking about it. Seeing Sun Shihan's smug and vicious gaze, Fang Yuan laughed in disdain. He did not say a thing, but instead responded with his fist. Bam, bam, bam. Fang Yuan's attacks were full of strength. Although Sun Shihan had some strength path foundation, how could it compare to Fang Yuan's immense investment in the strength path? After several moves, he was beaten on the floor again, lying there as he was punched and kicked. Wolf King is amazing. Although he is an enslavement path master, his strength path foundation is very strong. Everyone was shocked. Great fight, I had wanted to thrash this scoundrel cunning gentleman long ago. Some of the army's higher-ups smirked. Chang Shan Yin, you think I am easy to bully? Sun Shihan was thrashed until his body felt pain all over. His head was in a daze as his heart was filled with rage and humiliation. You still have the strength to speak. Fang Yuan snorted as he unleashed another round of punches. Sun Shihan was beaten to a pulp. He vomited blood as his front teeth all fell off. Even the teeth at the back of his mouth were shaking. Wolf King is so ruthless. Sun Shihan is a rank 4 expert after all, to think he was beaten defenseless, what a weakling. Stupid, he made a poison vow and could not use goo worms in terms of close combat, Wolf King is an enslavement path master, he would definitely be suppressed by Sun Shihan. The discussions became louder, be it Chang Shan Yin or Sun Shihan, they were people with great authority. Right now they were brawling it out, such a scene was rare, everyone was watching with bright eyes. Sun Shihan heard the comments and felt humiliated, he almost gritted his teeth off, although he barely had any left. He wanted to resist, but neither his strength nor moves were Fang Yuan's match, he could not take a thrashing. Endure, I must endure, if I use a goo, I would truly lose. I need to wait for Alliance Leader to come and uphold justice for me, Chang Shan Yin will get it. Sun Shihan screamed in his heart. Alliance Leader is here. Greetings to Lord Alliance Leader. The surrounding people went into chaos as they quickly gave way. Hai Lu Lan, Hao Jai Liu and others came to the area. Seeing this, Hai Lu Lan frowned as he asked Fang Yuan coldly, What is going on? Sun Shihan's body shuddered, using a mystical source of strength, he struggled as he crawled up and shouted, Alliance leader, please seek justice for me. Plop. Before he finished, Fang Yuan stepped on his head as he used great force, causing Sun Shihan's entire face to sink into the soil. Hai Lu Lan shouted loudly, Stop it, Wolf King, what are you doing? H, he is revolting. He ish revorting, Sun Shihan shouted loudly, his mouth was filled with soil as he spoke unclearly. Fang Yuan sneered, exerting strength and stepping three times, burying Sun Shihan's voice in the soil. Sun Shihan's nose and mouth were blocked, his head also suffered a great hit, he felt dizzy and suffocation, his limbs struggled wildly, but he could do nothing against Fang Yuan's strength. 
Hai Lu Lan's face turned pitch black like charcoal. Fang Yuan's gaze was like a dagger, staring coldly at him and the Gu Masters behind him. Can't you all see what I am doing? I am thrashing him. Hai Lu Lan stared at Fang Yuan angrily, shouting, Wolf King, give me a clear explanation, why did you beat him up? Are you really trying to rebel? Fang Yuan laughed in disdain, saying slowly, No need to be angry, High Tribe Leader, if I wanted to rebel, why would I need to make such a din? Saying so, he let go of Sun Shihan. Sun Shihan lost the pressure and bounced up, desperately gasping for air like he was suffocating. But Fang Yuan stepped again, this time on his right cheek. Sun Shihan used both his hands to pull Fang Yuan's feet, but he was already weak and out of energy. Just like this, he was stepped on the face by someone in public, his reputation was ruined. Fang Yuan said slowly and casually, Although I have not thought of rebelling, I do not want any schemes or plots to fall on my wife and children. During the battle, I will do my part and fight with my full strength. By then, if they die, that would be their honor to die on the battlefield. Since I, Wolf King, have joined the High Army, I would not change my stance just because of relationships. However, saying so, he raised his head as he laughed arrogantly. It is your own business to be suspicious that has nothing to do with me. All the mutated beast groups that I want are exchanged using my battle merit, this is a fair trade. I have never owed you anything. High tribe leader, if you are suspicious of me, you can take away the mutated beast wolf groups and not let me control them. In the future battle, I swear in the name of the wolf king, I will still go all out. Yu, Hai Lu Lan was furious. Fang Yuan ignored his threat and in fact threatened him instead. Being suspicious is your problem, you can keep the mutated wolves to yourselves. If we lose the battle, that will be your responsibility. Can Hai Lu Lan not give them to him? He had the great strength, true martial physique, even if he used Dark Limit Immortal Goo, he was starting to feel the inability to suppress it. He needed a Strength Path Immortal Goo to advance to Goo Immortal Realm. However, Wolf King created a din and made everyone know about this. If he did not give him the mutated beast group, what would the army think of him? They would think that Hai Lu Lan refused to utilize Wolf King despite him being here. Like the saying goes, a man being used cannot be suspected, while a suspected man cannot be used. If he loses the battle, everyone would begrudge Hai Lu Lan. Good, you are amazing Wolf King. Hai Lu Lan's gaze was cold, he laughed out of anger. Of course I know the Wolf King's loyalty, but why did you beat up Sun Shihan? He is your alliance mate, the enemy is before us, yet you engage in internal scuffle, what are you trying to do? Haha. <laughs> Fang Yuan shrugged. This is my fault, because this son Shihan looks way too ugly, he made my heart feel bad. Thus I thrashed him and adjusted his appearance for him as expected, he looks much better now. This was my personal action, I will take responsibility for it. According to the rules, I have to compensate Sun Shihan 10,000 battle merits, no worries, I will compensate him. Sun Shihan heard this and his anger rushed to his brain, he vomited out a mouthful of blood and fainted. The words made all the Goo Master experts present unable to hold in their laughter. It was too satisfying, there were many who were unhappy with this scoundrel Sun Shihan. Fang Yuan's assault was truly soothing their hearts. Even Tai Bai Yun Sheng's gaze towards Fang Yuan turned to admiration. He felt that although this Chang Shan Yin was ruthless, he did not strike at his family, but still maintained his righteousness and standpoint, he had his limits and was a true man. Hai Lu Lan's expression turned even darker. Sun Shihan was his man, Fang Yuan beating him up in public was also slapping Hai Lu Lan's face. Fang Yuan said it easily, but his battle merits were still in the negative. But what could Hai Lu Lan do? To deal with Liu tribe army, he needed to rely on the Wolf King's strength. Threatening the Wolf King was to make him carry the sin of killing his own tribesmen so that his reputation would be affected, allowing Hai Lu Lan to control him more easily. But since threats had no effect, Hai Lu Lan only had one option left, that was to comply. 